Today, as nearly 47 million people began heading out of town for Thanksgiving, President Obama took the unusual step of going on national television to assure them they'll be safe. With ISIS threatening Paris-like attacks in this country, the president said every element of America's security apparatus is, quote, on the case. Here's Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues. I want the American people to know is that we are taking every possible step to keep our homeland safe. Flanked by his national security team today, President Obama assured Americans that while there was no credible threat, law enforcement officers across the nation were working overtime to keep it that way. For the 25 million people expected to use airports over the next few days, that security will be visible, like here at Los Angeles International Airport, where heavily armed officers are on patrol. But nationwide, some airport police officers complain security is blind to the so-called insider threat. At many airports, some workers do not routinely go through security. The American Alliance of Airport Police Officers is calling for mandatory screening for all airport employees. Marshall McLean is with the organization. Uh, you and I, when we travel on, the, on an airplane, we all have to be screened. Uh, why not have employees screened as well? The Department of Homeland Security says it is reducing access points for employees and looking into mandatory screening. Secretary Jay Johnson. We're evaluating whether more is necessary right now. Uh, that's something that I and TSA have been focused on as recently as, as today. Several thousand officers will be on duty in New York City along the Thanksgiving Day parade route. On the rails, heavily armed police are along Amtrak routes in the Northeast. To show the system is safe, Secretary Johnson took the train this afternoon. But the bottom line seems to be that Americans should go about their business and enjoy the holidays. But Jim, law enforcement is advising people to be vigilant, especially in public spaces. Jeff, thank you.